Roosters are taking center stage at the studios of Key West. Now, fortunately, these roosters don't make as much noise as the ones we're used to here on the island. Along with being quiet, these roosters are pieces of art. They can be placed in your home or even your business. I'm going to talk with one of the conkadoodle artists this morning, Maggie Rooley. Maggie, thank you so much for being here with me today. Oh, Jenna, it's my pleasure. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here and, and talk about this great project. Maggie, this really is such a great project. I've had so much fun looking at all the roosters. Was it fun to create one? It was it was a joy to do, it was a joy to do one. It was my pleasure to be involved in the project. It's just it's a wonderful topic, a wonderful choice of topics for, for the studios to choose. The roosters are iconic on the island. Everybody, mm -hmm. well, they don't all love the roosters, <laughs> but we all identify with them, and I think that this will be a really good fundraising project for them. Now, Maggie, every rooster kind of has a theme behind it. So let's talk a little bit about the theme you chose for your rooster. Um, I chose a Van Gogh theme for mine. Uh, I believe that if you're doing something that's a fundraising effort, you should do something that has a broad appeal because obviously I want this rooster to make money for the studios. Mm -hmm. So I thought Van Gogh, a very, a, a classic painter, people love his work, so I chose to do a Van Gogh theme. I chose to do a variation of his work. I didn't want to copy it exactly, but I, I chose to do a variation of sunflowers on one side and a variation of the starry night, which is just really famous on the other side. Mm -hmm. And I put our lighthouse on, on the other side. So you gave it a little Key West I did give twist. it a little Key West <laughs> twist. I put the little conch houses and water in the background, so I changed it up to make it a Key West. Now, Maggie, you were joined by 49 other artists, and we are yes. at the end of the auction. Right. It's just lasting until the beginning of next week. But people can purchase these, and they really can place them in their homes. They can place them in their business. Yes, there is um, an online auction going on. The Roosters have their own Facebook page, which mm -hmm. is called Conkadoodle. So you would go to facebook.com forward slash conkadoodle and you would find their Facebook page. You can see photos of all the roosters, the front and back sides of all the roosters, and you can bid online. Mm -hmm. uh, bidding ends December 16th mm -hmm. is the last day for the bidding. So these are the final days for it. Well, definitely get your conk right now while you can. Yeah. Maggie, I understand that you have been an artist in Key West since 1986, so this probably wasn't too difficult for you to do because you, you've been painting for a long time. I have been. I've been here in town for a long time, and probably every artist that's been in town for a while paints roosters. Mm -hmm. I mean, in some, some form or other, the roosters slips into our work because we, we see them here. My first studio was in the Blue Heaven building uh -huh. on the corner of Thomas and Petronia Street mm -hmm. uh, when it was just artist studios before it was the restaurant and roosters were in that section of town at that time and neighborhood boys would run through the, <laughs> run through the, the yard there chasing the roosters to take, to take them to their home. So. Oh, so you're very yes, familiar. I am familiar with the <laughs> roosters, and I love to paint them. Okay. And now, along with doing painting, you also do pottery. I do. Do you have yes. a preference? Um, it, go, it, goes back and, <laughs> it goes back and forth. I probably like to paint more than I like to do pottery because I've been doing pottery for so long. Mm -hmm. um, and the painting is more new to me, so it, there's a little bit of fresh excitement there as far as the painting is concerned. But they're both wonderful, wonderful mediums. And my pottery is very painterly. I do a mm -hmm. lot of painting on my pottery. And you definitely don't have any problems drawing inspiration from Key West, oh, do you? No. <laughs> I live on Lower Sugarloaf Key, so I drive mm -hmm. into town all the time. And just... You know, looking at that, looking at that water and looking at those clouds every day, it's just, you know, it's kind of magic. It absolutely is. Now, if our viewers want to see your work in person, Maggie, where can they go? Well, I have a painting studio at the studios of Key West, 
which is on 600 um, White Street. My, my studio is upstairs. Uh, any hours that the building is open, they can go up and into my studio. I might not be there personally, but they're welcome to go in. Uh, I also show my paintings at the Key West Art Center. Mm -hmm. I have my paintings at Ruby's and Clay. And also I have chicken paintings at the Funky Chicken Store, a new place in town. And my pottery you can find at Sodu. Mm -hmm and at Mikey Moe's on Petronian Street. Well, great. So there's lots of locations. So there are, there are <laughs> lots of locations. You can find me around town, that's for sure. Wonderful. And if you want more information on Maggie, you can just check out the info that you see on the bottom of the screen. And be sure to check out the Facebook page for Conca Doodle and purchase your very own Key West Rooster. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me. Yeah.